Okay, so I ran around the studio and looked at all the various things that I've already printed or leftover papers because um, while we do the process, I'm going to try and only use what I already have, not print anything or buy anything and, um, and see what happens. Let's see if I can do that all the way through. <laughs> but I did find um, a lot of stuff that I had already compiled together when we did a series of journals that had to do with the moon. And then I did another series with winter. So between all those um, scraps that I had or some maybe some things that I hadn't even used at all, I brought those together and then just put a bunch of signatures together. Now, there's really no process video per se for just folding up papers and sewing them in because that's basically what this stage is. This is a real simple stage of the process because we're not supposed to decorate. We're not supposed to do anything. Just put the signatures in and we're done. <laughs> So that's what I did. So I will show you what I put in here. Now, a lot of these, like I said, was when we did the moon. And I had a lot of cool papers that I had collected. And you can see the moon. They're very, um, I don't know what you would call it. Um, like... I was going to say, like a dream. <laughs> They're all depicting something kind of dreamy or ethereal, you know. So, I thought this was really cool. I'm not even sure if I ended up using that in our original journals, but I really do like that. And again, hers are, it says, Fairy of the Moon. So, I wanted to incorporate the pictures of the moon and then different kind of fairy pictures so and then I threw in you know some of my grungy stuff here and there coffee or tea dyed papers that I had and I thought well I need to incorporate a few flowers because I mean what's a fairy without her flowers hello I like this picture. She's even got an umbrella. You know, just in case it rains up there. She is above the clouds, but, you know, maybe she's afraid the sun's going to come out. Not too sure. Never, never quite understood that umbrella. And then I put a... I had a file folder half of one so I folded this up so that when the other individuals are doing um, their portion there's going to be places for them to to either embellish or glue or whatever it is they're going to do and that gives them room to play with here's another cool one it's got the moon up there I think she's super cool. I don't know who the heck she's supposed to be. But um, maybe she's um, a fairy of the jungle or something. Not sure. We'll just pretend that's what she is. And some cool pictures here of the moon and various planets. Wallpaper. No, that's not wallpaper. That's just some handmade embossed paper. Mistake! Mistake! Again, what's with the umbrella? <sighs> it must have been a thing. I don't know. planets 
another fairy with your butterflies and then another file folder this magenta color can't miss that <laughs> and this cool picture of the of a tree with the snow on it and the moon it's one of my favorite pictures and then some more planets Aw, look at the little froggies. I guess she's a little fairy. She's dancing around the moon. Notice no umbrellas. All they do have mushrooms on the top of their head. Oh boy, okay, well. Hmm. Mystery. <laughs> Someone will educate me. The moon and an umbrella. She has no moon or an umbrella, but she is on a bird. One of my favorites. Oh, I love this too. All the moons. Or the phases of the moon, I should say. And that's that. So all I have to do is write in my card uh, what it was I did. And then I uh, I sewed them in with this um, sort of like a turquoise. This is um, waxed linen. And so I wanted it to match a little bit the butterflies I left them really long for the next creator that's going to be working on the exterior um toward the end they can decide if they want to chop them off or put some beads or whatever it is they're going to do but i just left it there for their discretion so this is all set to go that was simple enough not too much um involved just sewing in the signatures so i can't wait for the next stage where we actually get to like do more stuff in the journal and um i hope you're enjoying the series i am i can't wait to see how these all end up looking and uh, it'll be really really fun to get a hold of them at the very end all right i'll see you on the next stage i forget what that is but when i get the journal i will be sure to share that with you Thanks for coming along for the ride.